So our next topic is noise induced hearing loss. So it occurs when there is chronic exposure to uh, some frequencies of sound and it can be temporary or permanent. Uh, the temporary one is known as temporary threshold uh, increase. Uh, so what uh, temporary threshold increment. So what happens here that following exposure to uh, like large frequency of noise, there will be temporary hearing, hearing loss, which will be resolved within a day or till two weeks. And then there is permanent, which is irreversible. So uh, what are the like uh, recommendations? Uh, uh, of the uh, sound exposure so according to the factory x uh, it says that uh, sound exposure uh, should be less than 90 decibels for maximum eight hours a day and five days a week and above this is not permissible and uh, the noise pollution act say noise pollution rules say that there should be a hundred meter noise free zone around schools uh, all the educational institutes, hospitals, nursing home, etc. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, sabse pahale it affects the higher frequencies. So, higher frequencies than 8000 Hz. So, we will not see it on the pure tone audiometry. But the earliest change we see is uh, a note at 4000 uh, Hz, which is known as acoustic depth. And apart from it, and this dip will be bilateral, uh, it will be in both the ears and uh, there will be no AB cap. Apart from it, we can also do uh, autocaustic emission test. And uh, if uh, if uh, there is a person working in factory uh, where there are loud noise exposure, uh, they should get annual uh, or annual examinations, audiometry examinations, and also they should hear, uh, wear hearing plugs. Uh, so that's all for um, noise induced hearing loss.